You ever scroll through your YouTube recommendations, whether videos or shorts, and run into an unfunny YouTuber? For some of you, this YouTuber may have been Master Ugwe. You know, I think I first recognized this guy's face back in 2021, and the first video I watched of him, I actually thought he was kind of funny, like I will admit. Until I realized that his content was centered around one thing, whether it be like this one unfunny joke that he just kept repeating, or edgy humor, his content was redundant to say the least. So I never subscribed. Honestly, it takes a lot for me to subscribe these days, like a lot. I'm not 12 years old anymore and just subscribe to like every single channel I see. But lately, Master Ugwe has been under fire for outright offensive videos. And when I say that, I mean he's literally just saying racial slurs at this point. He made a video titled, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember the exact title, but it was basically like, like me saying the n-word. And most would assume that he's just trolling and clickbaiting because he always does that. Like he has tons of videos titled me saying the n-word and he just he just doesn't say it. But in this video, he actually says the n-word as a... You know, I don't even know what he is, but he's not black. He also made a song on like another one of his channels titled Adolf Hitler is my name. Like, excuse me? At that point, it's more j than just being offensive towards the black community. Like, you're actually like making a joke about something that was very serious like honestly i wouldn't even touch that like that's really bad actually i am well aware that he's trolling and trying to get a reaction out of people but to any child that is watching this video please know that's not funny at all please don't spread that around it's extremely disrespectful because the thing about little kids is that they do not understand when it's trolling or not when it's a joke or not and and sometimes they will but these days it, it they don't they idolize these internet celebrities and it's problematic and that's what i think is the most disgusting part about this i'm less worried for him and more worried for like the kids who will watch this video and then spread it around their school like that as i said is problematic we have already heard incidents of boys being sexist or kids saying r racial slurs because of the image a youtuber upheld themselves as i mean look at the idub situation like remember when he had to make a whole apology because he realized that people were actually taking his content seriously like no this is not okay they do not take it as a joke so like i said he's under fire because of this a lot of people on twitter are very angry at him and he's been trying to defend himself or whatever he even made a jab at PewDiePie basically trying to uphold himself as better because PewDiePie said it hard R and like in an offensive targeted way like he actually said it to someone meanwhile Ugwe is saying the n-word to infer that you're his homie um, which honestly I don't think Adolf Hitler should be anyone's homie so that doesn't even make it any better at all but the issue with the statement the true issue is that no one literally no one was okay with PewDiePie saying that People were angry about that too. The difference is that PewDiePie immediately apologized. He took down the live stream and he apologized and said that he was wrong. He didn't try to defend himself because what he did was wrong. And then you have Oogway over here trying to protect himself and be like, hey, I didn't even, I wasn't even being racist when I said it. So what's, what's the, what's the problem? Bro, you're not, you never even said sorry. Like, how are we supposed to be like, okay. Okay, wait, I see what you mean. You didn't even say sorry. How is it the same situation, but yours is better somehow? I mean, I don't believe in cancel culture for the most part, but I honestly think that if he just said sorry instead of going on Twitter saying F you YouTube, F all of you, you guys don't know what you're talking about, trying to cancel me or whatever, even though PewDiePie did this, I'm pretty sure if he just said sorry, he was like, you know what, I was wrong, what I did was stupid, I'm taking it too far. People probably would have forgave him. Um, of course, there would be some people who still try to cancel him. And, you know, maybe he would be just being fake in his apology because a lot of YouTubers are. But if he apologized and then changed his content and stopped making edgy humor that was just offending people and hurtful and, like, spreading um, a bad message to children... If he stopped doing that, I do think people would have forgiven him. He probably would have had a redemption arc if he said sorry and then changed his content. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that you can't just say sorry on the internet. And I think in real life too, 
like you have to change your behavior as well i do believe in forgiveness but i think if you're gonna say sorry you have to mean it and that will be shown through your actions but back to the point youtube has been giving him warnings concerning this i'm pretty sure they demonetized his channel for a bit and he was getting mad about it saying f you youtube all that stuff he was pissy because he was like oh i've been with your corporation for years and now all of a sudden you want to turn your back on me but like bro if you don't want your channel to be demonetized maybe you should just follow their terms and conditions and not say racial slurs on your channel it's easy i'm not a fan of cancel culture but if his channel gets removed it's entirely his fault literally just take down the video and apologize and i'm sure youtube will forget about it speaking of apologies he actually did make a, an, an apology it was a fake one he was like i apologize for not giving an f about what you think about me that's literally how it began like right off the bat he was like i'm not sorry and you guys forced me to make content like this like i don't even know what he was talking about there but okay whatever yeah so basically he blamed his viewers for the content he makes because that's what they like like that was his argument and clout is a heck of a drug because celebrities will destroy their own dignity and i'm not calling him a celebrity let's just say internet celebrity they will destroy their own dignity for views and revenue it's absolutely crazy i was watching ben eshrix i think that's how you pronounce his last name I was watching his video about this situation and one of the things he questioned Uguay about was is this really what you want to be known for? Even with the views and revenue, do you really want to be known as this person? Uguay also tried to gaslight us into thinking that we are the racist ones and not him. Um, I'm not even gonna go into that because it was just too stupid. And TBH, I don't think Uguay's actually racist. I don't think he like genuinely hates people because of their skin color. I think he's just disrespectful and trying to make edgy humor and get a reaction out of people for money. I don't think it's actual like genuine racism. He's just selfish. I mean, yes, humor is subjective but if you think that his humor is clever in any way you're probably 12 years old anyways this apology was just him blaming everyone but himself about what has been happening to him which is sad because this man is 25 years old and he can't admit to his own mistakes i understand that youtube is his living but no one forced him to humiliate himself for views he did this he's the one who decided hey this works even though it's humiliating even though it's stupid even though it's disrespectful i'm gonna keep doing it that's that was his choice and he and he, he could have there are multiple outlets to make money on youtube and he chose this one he's facing the repercussions for it and honestly with his fame i'm sure he could switch it up and still be good i mean i don't think he would make as much money and i don't think he could do comedy anymore but there are a lot of things you can do on youtube and i'm pretty sure with his six million subscribers 20 million across all of his channels he would be good i honestly hope he reflects like i dubs did i think that's the best outcome for this all but all in all i think something isn't really quite right in this guy's head like the fact that he does not see like and i'm pretty sure he's just being arrogant but it's it's scary to think like from like the pub what he's showing us publicly he doesn't see that he did anything wrong it's crazy but you know maybe he'll reflect on it i'm hoping the best i'm hoping that he changes and evolves like that's 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 about it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like it subscribe if you want more content like this and i will see you guys next time